Welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Andrea Jackson. Some consumers across the country are fretting over their real estate investment. Thanks to the deepening recession, inflation, and record number of layoffs, the economy is struggling now more than ever. And with the Federal Reserve hiking interest rates in record territory, mortgages are becoming unaffordable. So what should we do if we're stuck with a high interest loan or looking to sell our home? Joining us to talk about it is Matthew Bell of the Apollo Property Group. Matthew, good to see you. Morning, how are you? Very good. So this is a question a lot of people are asking themselves right now. If I can't afford my home, should I ask to refinance it, especially with these interest rates going up? Well, refinancing your mortgage could be a good idea if it'll save you money and make paying your monthly bills easier. Um, some experts say you should only refinance if you can lower the interest rate, uh, shorten your loan term or both. Um, but you may need some short-term relief from a lower um, monthly payment, even if it means starting over on a new 30. I know a lot of people, when they get into a financial bind, they consider bankruptcy. A couple of different chapters, the 7 the 13. Is declaring bankruptcy an option for a homeowner? And if so, is there an opportunity for them to somehow keep their house? It is. Uh, bankruptcy discharge generally wipes out most of your unsecured debts. Uh, which can free up some money to make those monthly uh, mortgage interest payments. And um, it doesn't necessarily help you keep your home if you can't afford the monthly payment. Uh, but again, it can it can reallocate where you're spending your money on the bills. What about seeking a short sale with the lender? Is that a good option? Short sale may be a better option than foreclosure if you're not too far behind on your payments uh, because your credit score will take less of a hit than with a foreclosure. Um, so it, it could be, it's it's dependent on on where you are on your, uh, on your payment. Some experts are saying you can sell your deed to the lender in lieu of foreclosure. Is this sort of the same thing as the short sale or is this kind of a little bit different? Yeah, you, the answer to the question is yes, you can give your house back to the bank to avoid foreclosure. Um, it's, uh, to your point, called the deed in lieu of for, uh, foreclosure. Um, we've got a lot of experience buying large packages of, of properties from banks, as well as direct to seller um, marketing to try to help people out of these situations. Um, it really depends on the relationship with the bank. How important is communication in all of this, Matthew? It seems like if you're talking to the bank about what's going on with your finances, more than likely they're usually willing to help you out. That's 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 true. Absolutely. I mean, there's definitely a handful of different options, but uh, communication is key to to start that communication early and often, uh, and not let it snowball on you to where uh, the bank doesn't know what's going on with you and you don't know what's going on with the bank as far as the process. And um, yeah, communi more communication is better for sure. A lot of people are talking about reverse mortgages and it seems there are pros and cons to different extreme ways of thinking about this. What What is a reverse mortgage and is it something you recommend? So it's a loan for homeowners age 62 and older. Uh, so there's a limitation as far as age goes, um, but it's basically someone who wants to borrow against the equity in their home uh, without having to make monthly payments. Um, it can help seniors who are short on funds for living expenses. And uh, um, it's one of a handful, again, of different options. It doesn't work necessarily if you don't have significant equity in the home, though. I always wonder, though, with a reverse mortgage, what happens to the equity that you, you take a loan from? I mean, do you end up selling the house to whoever inherits it at the end of the term? Do you pay it back? How does it work? Yeah, it's basically front loading. Uh, you're, you're eating through your equity. That is the loan that you're receiving is, is a loan against the equity. So over a period of time, um, equity in the home gets less and less and less as you're borrowing against it. Um, it doesn't, again, work unless you have that equity. And if, if someone ends up passing, uh, then yes, the burden would fall to the heirs and they would need to pay off the loan or the bank will take the house, sell the house and, and pay off the loan. And what about forbearance, Matthew? What should we get from forbearance and is that a good option? Yeah, forbearance is essentially one version of loan modification and it, it can absolutely help struggling borrowers 
who are becoming delinquent with payments. Uh, usually it's a three to six month uh, period of time and they take the money that you would have paid during the, that uh, three to six months and add it to the back end of the loan. Um, definitely, again, a very specific bank uh, process. And so you, you need to figure out what your bank, um, their forbearance program looks like and does it fit for you. Matthew, great information. Thanks so much for joining us. For more information on the Mortgage Survival Guide, visit ApolloPropertyGroup.com.